beginning mm-hmm. was to bring hope, uh, messages, clarity, mm-hmm. wisdom, uh, knowledge of the future or meaning, you know, why something happened, to bring that to you yes. uh, for comfort yes. and support. And with so truth. That, with, with truth. With yes, truth. so that your journey here on earth, uh, so you don't have to suffer as much because you can understand. You know, something one of my first teachers, Robert Brown from England, an international mm-hmm. medium, and I had never had a reading, and mm-hmm. I, I somehow was there with him, and he said to me, you have your feet in two worlds. <laughs> mm-hmm. So he just he described it exactly as you just did, and it took mm-hmm. me a little time from that time of having my own experiences and trying to put together the pieces of my childhood to understand what he meant from that. But you just described that very beautiful. You know, in my earlier years, I was seeking for truth and awareness. So I studied philosophy, history, and religion, and science. Then came spirituality and and dreams. And they really were all leading me just to question the beliefs and training of my childhood so I could reclaim my spiritual gifts of feeling and knowing spirit experientially and using my intuitive ability Mm -hmm. to communicate with spirit. So for many of us, it's a process, even when we have the gift, because if there is no one around to sort of say it's okay, you know, and they're guiding you to study other things, like your parents wanted you to go for archaeology, And your spirit needed to express itself in a more creative and beautiful and intuitive way. You see, we can waste a little time, let's say, but ultimately we'll get where we have to get. And in my book, The Living Spirit, I wrote about that and this quest. Mm. I wrote, in continuing our quest for personal truth, along with our goal to hear the whispers and experience the beautiful thoughts and sense the feelings of peace that may reside in our soul and body, a pleasant feeling of cooperation between body, mind, and soul can be achieved to bring about a future reality of substance. Well, there again, substance, the truth, the reality Mm -hmm. of who we are, and that's Mm -hmm. what we were looking for as children, and we already had it, but we still had to, uh, to help other people. Now, Deirdre, you have a poem in the book that reads, We are here as mystics. If you are here, you are a mystic. You were born a mystic and you will die a mystic. And there's no way you're going to get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, this this thought is, if you have this book in your hand, you're here, literally, right. <laughs> on this page. Yeah. Because you're a mystic, and uh, the creation, the universe, wants you to know it, Mm -hmm. wants you to wake up, acknowledge this, because you won't get out of it. You can't run away from it. You might as well dive in and learn uh, how to appreciate the gifts you have. And so then the rest of the book is really a book of, of, of wisdom and teachings of to meditate on, yeah. to open your mystical self. Um, I mean, I have in here, a uh, on page 50, I have a, um, a, a mantra that if you know, if you understand that mantra, you will enter into the kingdom within. And that's, this is about uh, bringing the six uh, directions in our body into the, the center point of our being. And I have in here um, the the, uh, the the messages from like, Mother Divine uh, mm-hmm. and what what she's here for to help you return to your brilliance. That the gates of reality are opening. Um, and the poem in the honey jars is the poem about the soul, the journey of the soul, um, and that the soul. The light of our soul is actually very far away, and our job is to call our soul's light to this reality Mm -hmm. and 
to embody it. So we marry ourselves. And when you do this, you that is enlightenment, that's awakening, mm-hmm. and that is the true definition of ascension. You are filled with this divine light. So the poem is about the soul and the, a journey where the soul is called back uh, to the earth and meets a little boy. You know, yeah, I sort of... boy I, embodies the soul. Yeah, I sort of feel that there is no uh, past, present, future, that everything right. is happening simultaneously in a creative flow of energy. That's why you gathered the mm-hmm. future that time to help your brother. And also that part of our energy is uh, watching and observing. And when we learn and share, we're sharing also with those in spirit. And it's a continuous flow of love mm-hmm. and compassion and learning. You know, I had a mystical ex- I've had many mystical experiences. Uh, but uh, I feel every time I do a reading for a person, mm-hmm. emerge with this guidance and love from spirit and angels and loved ones uh, that I'm having that. But when I took my second Reiki training class during the attunement process, mm-hmm. I actually saw and felt myself out of my body being lifted in Jesus' hands. Mm -hmm. And on another spiritual retreat in a group meditation, because when you're with people who are highly attuned, the energy is heightened so. And I was in a meditation in a a group, um, and this was in uh, California, and uh, I was out of my body, and I was swimming rapidly towards an island with these giant glass and gold top buildings. Mm. And I was thinking, I can't understand how I'm swimming underwater without breathing apparatus. So I'm mm. thinking, but I'm there, and it's actually happening. And afterwards, when I talked to the person next to me and told him, He told me he had been in Mexico at an ancient site and he had the same out-of-body experience and the place he saw was Atlantis. So Mm. there are so many connections and so many ways to experience the beauty of our soul energy and to understand uh, this eternal uh, life force and to stop worrying and being so fearful and trying to control and just to allow accept and surrender to the beauty of life. So I I did want to share, there was a page. Uh, You're telling about a program that has been presented at many healing institutes, and uh, it reads as follows, one of the pages in your book. The outer world is a holographic picture of your mind. You are separate from every other mind, while you are a unique ray of light. This is the paradox. While you are separate from every other mind, you are at the same time one with every mind, every other thing in the universe. Your ray is so important and so needed on the planet right now, it is not possible to have a ray that is not needed. So when I read that, I also thought about a time when I met a healer, Carol, in um, Maine a few summers ago. And uh, she said to me, I'm so glad you're in the world right now because everyone here is needed. Do you know who your guide is? And I said, well, I think I know who my guide is, but I'm a little hesitant to always share it because uh, people think you're being flippant or arrogant or Mm -hmm. whatever but you also wrote while at the same time that you are separate and you are different and you are one and the same with all creation now I know you have you have collaborated with your husband William Arntz is that how you pronounce his name Uh Arntz the creator and producer of the film what the bleep do we know and award-winning photographer Andre Balog on this book that we're talking about, the not-so-little book of surprises. And what do you want people to take away with them after reading and just absorbing and holding this beautiful book with pictures in their hands? 
I want people to take away hope. Uh, And this book is an oracle book. It really is the kind of book you can read from cover to cover and go on your own mystical journey. You don't even have to really understand everything, but Mm -hmm. energies are in the book. They're living. They'll fill you with this with this light, with this experience. And you can also open the book if you have a question and just let your finger rest on a sentence Um, because it is a magical book. Um, And it is a book filled with the wisdom and the the healing energies uh, that I've been gifted to work with of Angels, archangels. They are always around us, and they will answer anyone's question. So if you have a question Mm -hmm. and you go to this book, you will perhaps receive guidance that you so desire. You will, because the book book is a a gateway to doorway. Right. So I want to thank you, Deirdre Mm -hmm. Haid, for sharing an insightful Mm -hmm. look at how to view this challenging changing world through the eyes of surprise, acceptance, and love for life and being as it is, and for finding ways to know ourselves and create the world anew in loving, compassionate energy, feelings, thoughts, and actions. To learn more about Deirdre and to purchase her book, go to DeirdreHade.com. In summarizing today's episode of Healing from Within, we have explored the mystic within us all that longs for the beauty of connection to universal energy and guidance and to finding faith, peace, love, and unity within our heart that also beats within the continuous energetic oneness of life and creation. As written in Deidre Ann Williams' book, We read and see the pictures of universal light beings. The old paradigms are falling apart and people are grappling to try to find a way to pull them together. Someone has to be the glue to hold the space for the love of the beings of light, the Pista Sophia, the Archangels of Light, the Ascended Master, to come and help us redeem our world. Because we cannot do this alone. We cannot. Our Creator, the Archangels and Ascended Masters are praying that you begin to see beyond the veils of this world because when you can truly see, you will receive the access code and your key to enter in the alternative reality of oneness. And the Spirit Guides let me know they're working very hard for us now so we need to stop the level of fear and worry and try to be true to our best feelings and goodness within Deirdre I picked this picture that I was just Mm. talking about and the message shared purposefully as I often have coincidences of synchronicity through divine intervention with my very gifted authors and leaders in these transformational and expansive times a few weeks ago I attended a family wedding, and my cousin, who had recently lost her husband, asked me if I thought he and other family members were around us in some way. So, of course, I expressed my confidence that they were all there to share this event with us. I closed my eyes, and I asked for a sign or message. Then, But it was too noisy. Then we took a cell phone picture of the family, and I immediately saw in the upper right-hand corner in a window the exact angelic light form that is in the drawing in your book, the not-so-little book of surprises. The exact room with with all the angels and the colors of the chakras and the same same exact picture. Listeners can go to my website, go to the events link, and hit it, and you will see this picture. And then go to Deidre's book, and you will find the same beautiful image that spirit has given us Deirdre and I want to thank all our listeners for being open to accessing the wisdom love and truth of our eternal essence and as we see more and more participation by those in spirit who join us on our journey of life here in the physical world of nature and beyond in the world of light we want to know they're there I know they're there Deirdre notes, so many of our listeners know, and we have to continue to trust that. 
I am Cheryl Glick, host of Healing from Within, and invite you to visit my website.